Good morning, ladies. Good morning, good morning. Stay, 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 don't fall. Be over there in just a second. Okay. So, how are you all? I miss you guys. Cannot wait for the staircase to be done, but I'll be live soon. Um, so today's tutorial is going to be these beautiful hearts over here uh, that we're going to make for a wreath. And I'm going to also do a junk bow. Well, I'm calling it a junk bow, but it's like a combination of a rag bow and just a lot of stuff thrown into it. <laughs> so I wanted to do a Valentine's wreath and I wasn't really seeing any signs I liked. I just don't really like signs uh, for Valentine's wreaths. So I made hearts. So I made these ones already and we're gonna do a big one with a leopard print. And let's get that started. And then I also made, made two matching balls and I showed you girls the tutorial for these. Um, so I ran out of red fabric when I did the hearts. So I actually used a headband that I bought from Hobby Lobby that is all sequins. So I cut it, I had to red put red paint over it because it's see-through. And then I put that on there because I ran out of red fabric. <laughs> but I did make the two balls to go with the hearts and then we're gonna do a matching junk bow. I'm calling it a junk bow. But for this, uh, for the hearts you're gonna need, and I'm just using the Dollar Tree foam boards that they sell for a dollar. So you're gonna need that. And then I picked up, this is what started it. <laughs> I seen these there and I'm pretty sure it was at, yeah, it was at the Dollar Tree. Um, I seen these at the Dollar Tree and I liked how funky shaped the hearts were. Aren't those cute? So I figured I could use this as my template. So I did. But these are all glittered. So I did to take cardstock and just made a template with cardstock, but you could just use these but I made a template with the cardstock. So I just traced out all of them onto cardstock because I'll probably use those for decoration. So I wanted to make sure I had a template for them. So I did all the templates and all the sizes and um, two of the hearts are the same size, the medium ones and then the small ones, two were the same size and then there was one large one. So I got my template and then I traced it out onto the foam core. Well, now remember, when you trace this on the foam fabric, your fabric is, well, we haven't gotten to that part, so let's just do the foam core first. I'm getting ahead of myself. And I'm using, um, and then you just wanna trace this out on the foam core, so you have your shape. And I'm using uh, Foamworks. I have another one that works better than this one, but I can't find it. I don't know where I put it. So I'm using this, but you could use one of those Ecto knives or Scissors, scissors kind of leave um, indents. It makes it crease like that. So I like using a razor blade. It's just a razor blade in there. Now, I don't use this the way you're supposed to because I don't honestly know how. <laughs> it just doesn't work for me. So I'm just gonna use it the way I want. So I put this in here. And actually I gotta turn around because I can't see my blade. And I follow the line. as best as you can. I'm not the best at cutting these things. I can't say. My other one, I don't know where it is. I keep it right on the stand next to me, but I was nervous blue because I the razor blade was sticking out. And I was nervous blue was gonna cut himself. And I put it somewhere. I searched for it all night last night. I started these hearts last night. Sometimes it doesn't cut all the way through, so you might have to, like I just did. I'm just gonna get in there and try to do it again. Go, let it go. Let 
Apparently I didn't push it all the way through. Be careful, don't cut yourself. I shouldn't have said that because I probably cut myself now. <laughs> Every time I say something, I feel like I jinx myself. See, my finger was right there. Jesus. I told you. Let's go the other way. Come on, let it go. any of them. <laughs> of course on the tutorial I'm going to have or it doesn't want to cut. Alright, let me trim it. Now, don't worry about it because you won't see all the little blemishes I just made on this. when I went to do one of those balls when I was cutting you know where I do the yarn and then you follow the line the whole ball just crumbled up like all the foam was just popping it crumbled it left a huge hole and I had to start another one and I only got two balls made like I said I ran out of fabric for red so I used that hair tie I bought for Christmas and it had, so I cut the back of it, and then I just cut the sequin part off, and I used my template on there. It was just wide enough with that part, but you see it's see-through, so that's why I painted the ball where the red was going red. But I don't think I have enough for two more. Actually, where's the rest of it? Oh, here it is. Yeah, I don't think there's enough. Yeah, there's not enough to do two more. But this was to go, you know, just to wrap around your hair. That's what I used. <laughs> I got him out of red fabric. All right, so we got our template cut out. So now what you need to do is you're going to also trace on fabric with your um, template of your, of your heart. Now remember when you're tracing on fabric, because I didn't think about that at first, um, I traced it this way. And then when I flipped it over, it was backwards. So remember to do it the opposite way. So when you flip it back over, you know, the heart long piece is to the left, okay? And some of, you know, a smaller one, I did do the opposite way. You could do them the opposite way too, because I did do some of them that's still wet. <laughs> I just did it. Um, so you're gonna trace that, but here's the thing. Before you start tracing, do you see how much bigger my fabric is? You want to make it at least an inch and a half wider on the sides of your template. So lay it on the fabric and then you could take your ruler and go all the way around and mark an inch and a half, an inch and a half, an inch and a half, an inch and a half. Like I would do, I would mark an inch and a half here and then I would mark it here and then I would just draw the line straight up to it. But on these ones, I didn't really measure. I kind of just took the fabric and I didn't even... I just held this down and I just cut, you know, so I had enough to use when we fold it over. That's why you're leaving um, at least an inch and a half on the sides of this template for the fabric. The foam core is cut down to the exact size, okay? But your fabric needs to be at least an inch and a half bigger than your template. Okay, so we got that. So now I'm just going to set my foam core on top of it. Get it in the middle and we're going to start cutting it. So we're not going to start, we're not going to start right down here. We're going to move up just a little bit. Okay, don't start at the corner. Just move up a little. 
And then we're just gonna make slice marks with your fabric. And then we're just gonna start gluing it to the back of the foam board. And actually, I didn't do this with the other ones and I think I'm gonna do that now. It, also, if you wanted, you could take a pipe cleaner if you want an attachment to hold it. You could take your pipe cleaner and we're going to poke a hole, poke a hole on the front. This is the back. On the front, you're going to poke that through. make it even just like that take a little bit of glue and I didn't think about that with the other ones until after <laughs> so this is the only one that will have the attachment on the back but you can just glue them they're super um, light so and I didn't cover the back of mine, but I will put felt over them. If you were selling them, you would want to felt them. If I'm just sticking them in the brief, I'm not worried about covering them. So maybe I won't cover them. No one's going to see them. All right, so we got that on. Now you're going to... I forgot that I had to mark the fabric too. I put that in too soon. <laughs> oh, shoot. No, 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 we're right. Never mind. I'm getting confused. All right. Oh, shoot, I already cut my lines, too. Oh. Anyways, so this will be sticking up in, in the back, okay? Then we're going to start gluing these down. Just fold your strip up. Glue dries pretty fast, so just do a few at a time. Now, when it comes down to this corner, I get confused on it. So if you have a better way to fold these, but I just cut a slit all the way down. And then I come over here and cut another slit, just like you do. So I'm making these to go in a wreath. So today we'll be doing the hearts and the rag junk bow. And then on um, Friday, we'll actually do, or Saturday, sorry, switch days. Saturday will be the day when it, um, you'll get the tutorial for make how I did it in the wreath. So this gives you time if you want to go ahead and start making them so you already have them made for Friday's tutorial. 
you'll be ahead of the game. <laughs> I don't usually do a lot of Valentine's Reese, but they've been selling, so there's really nothing else. I could do Easter or just an everyday wreath. I don't know. I've seen those hearts, and I just thought, oh, i got to do those. They're whimsical looking. <laughs> All right, so now we're just going to go over to this side and do the same thing. So I kind of get this in the crease, just not on top, to help hold that corner too. I'm going to fold it up. Too much. I'm gonna hold that corner in. Just trim that off. I thought so blue was in here last night when I was making those other hearts well I made some last night and a couple this morning um but he was sitting up here next to my glue gun and you know I looked over at him and he just kept he ran over to the corner of the table and really kept lick pawing his mouth so I'm like oh my god did he lick the glue gun did he get hot glue in his mouth I was like freaking out and I was cutting strips down for the junk bow of fabric it's a, like a junk rag bow. I'm just giving it a word, a name. <laughs> Laura's junk bow. <laughs> um, anyways, so I was like, oh my God, watching. I'm like, did he burn himself? And he just kept pawing at his mouth. And I thought I seen a piece of hair. Cause, you know, I shed and I'm losing my hair. Um, so I went to grab it and it was, and string just kept pulling out of his mouth. It was from the rag bow when you pull the fabrics. Uh, you know, I was pulling all the fabric off it that was shredding. And he must have got it, and that's what he was trying to get. He was trying to get it out of his mouth. I'm like, oh my God, that could have been a major surgery. I'm glad I pulled that. I thought it was hair. So then I had to throw him out of here because he gets into everything. My other cat does nothing. She doesn't care if her, she just wants to sleep and lay down and she doesn't bother me. Blue, you know, he's still a kitten. My other cat's old. Okay, so we're not going to do in the corner yet, okay? I'll, I'll show you how we're going to do that when we get there. You wanted to you could cut another piece of fabric and put that over the back if you wanted it you know on both sides so now before we start finishing this we're going to take polyfill and i have a huge bag i just picked up from joanne yesterday went there i got fabric and i thought i had red so i didn't pick it i seen it i was like i should grab that but i was like no you got it but i didn't have enough of it son of a gun <laughs> i gotta go back there all right, so where the opening, we left opening right here in the front, on the bottom, you're just gonna start shoving your polyfill in there. And I usually just push it up in the corners with my scissors. And actually I shouldn't have closed it that much because I don't know if I can reach up there. This one's bigger. Let me grab a dowel. Grab a dowel. You want to really push it up into those corners. Probably shouldn't have closed it off this tight. Just 
not the easiest to get up there, but just keep playing with it. Pushing it up there. I really want it as far up into the corner as I can get it. Make sure you're spreading it out so it's just not one big lump. this morning it's really just got a few more things to do it's almost there it's almost done except for the runner we're gonna have to go to a carpet store and have someone come install that because originally I was gonna do the runner and then we decided I'm just gonna paint the steps black or gray and so I had everything taped up so you know I didn't touch the steps with the whites when I was doing the rails and then we decided that we really want a runner so I taped it off and did all that work for nothing. <laughs> Trying not to touch the freaking steps because now the steps are going to be white because we're going to do a gray runner down it. But the rails are done. I just got to finish the steps. And I was going to do it yesterday, but I had gray paint because I thought we were doing gray. But if we're going to do a gray runner, I want white steps. So I'm not to go to the store and pick up the paint. And I went out yesterday to do it because I knew I was going to Joanne's. And I forgot to look at to see the exact color because you know there's so many different shades of white I want the exact one I used on the spindles and I couldn't remember so it's gonna go out today and do it but I really don't feel like doing anything or going anywhere so maybe I'll do it tomorrow <laughs> Isn't this so cute? I love these. So you guys can't think of anything? Just make your own stuff. Try to make sure that, you know, you're just as full on both sides. You don't want one really full and the other side looks not full. Stomach is growing. I feel like right in here. Right there needs more. Push it up in there. If you don't in there. There we go. <laughs> now you can make these as fluffy and full as you want. If you want a really big fluffy one, just make sure you're cutting your sides of your fabric um, longer. We're almost done stuffing this. A little bit more. All right. I think that's good. So I'm going to turn it over. We're going to tuck all that back in. I don't want to get glue on that. Oh, my sides are all tucked in. Come on. My fabric tucked in. Come on, you little turds. Get out of there. I can't get it. Get out. There. Little bugger. All right, so I'm just gonna tuck that in as best as you can. 
and start gluing it down. You want to hold it for a few seconds because otherwise it'll fall back down and not be tight. Okay, so here's where the corners are. So this piece, I'm just gonna cut right at an angle to that corner. So I'm just gonna go like this, cut it right to that corner. I'm gonna take that piece and glue it. I'm gonna go ahead and take that piece that's sticking out right here. I'm just gonna cut it straight off. And then you're gonna take that piece and glue it up. to put some over here. Get off me. Okay, so now you got your little back on. We got our cute little heart shaped wreath attachment. You can go ahead and trim these off just to make it look cleaner. Like I said, you could put your um, fabric over the, this side of it too to make it look neat if you want, or some felt. If you're selling these, you definitely wanna make sure you're finishing the back, but I'm just gonna put them in a wreath, so I'm not gonna um, do that. I'm telling you though, I know a lot of wreath makers that, um, you know, there's so many wreath makers now that they switch to doing embellishments because they're just not making enough money. And honestly, I might just do that too. <laughs> All right. So now, my poly felt. So now I want to move these templates and put them in my drawer. I gotta keep all my templates. So now I, I'm, I took some fabric Mod Podge. I'm using fabric Mod Podge. And we're gonna go, and I left the brush in the room. Hold on, let me grab a brush. Get a sip of my coffee. Aren't those so cute? I love those. And I did use the fabric Mod Podge on this too. I, you know, to help seal them better. I just went over it with a brush on the balls and uh, with the fabric match patch just to help seal it better. And we're gonna do the same thing on this. Just going to brush it a little. Glue lips. So you can do this after or before you put your trim on, but I'm gonna do it now. Make sure before you go ahead and put the glue on, especially on certain fabrics, will leave little hairs and shred a little bit. So you wanna make sure that you're getting all the stuff off of it so you don't glue that in there, like little hairs or fibers or anything. You could take a little brush and brush it or lit roller. Um, but just make sure that, you know, this is all clean before you put your glue on. And then I'm just going to go over it with my fabric Mod Podge.
something hard right there. Get out. So I do half of it. Oh no, I'm not doing I'm not doing glitter. So when I did the um red heart and the black heart, I did glitter on those. So I did half. I put the Mod Podge on half of it and then I went ahead and did the glitter. So I just cut, I took a piece of cardstock or paper or paper plate and you're going to take your glitter. Now I'm not doing this on these ones, but on the black one, I um, did half and then I took my black glitter and I went all over it until it was, you know, all covered. And then I did the other side. But I'm not glittering these ones. I just did the red with red glitter and then the black with black glitter. See little fibers. And this will all dry clear, so don't worry about it. My stomach's over here like singing or yelling at me. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so I got it covered. That'll dry clear once it's dry. And now you want to take, <laughs> hold on one second. I just want to wipe this brush down. So now we're going to do an embellishment around the side or trim. So I used this for um, the leopard print. On the red I used and the black, I used the diamond. Um, you can get this on Amazon or Hobby Lobby or any of the craft stores have it. Um, Cheryl in the group got me this for, for, I don't know what holiday, if it was my birthday or what, Christmas uh, last year. And I'm finally using it. And uh, I did the trim. I just hot glued and went around. I did try to make, because when you do this diamonds, they point straight up. So I tried to tip them a little bit so they were facing forward. But, you know, they're so cute though. So I did the red and black with the diamond trim. And then the leopard print I'm doing with the red little rope trim. So I usually start in the corner. Just start following the line all the way up. And you really want to push your trim down because if you don't push it down, what happens is the glue dries and it's up a little higher and your trim doesn't look like it's sitting on top of it. It looks like it's sitting on top of the glue. <laughs> So I was like, oops, because I didn't push it all the way in. And it dries really fast, so I'm just doing little sections at a time. And you want to try to use little glue so you don't see it. still wet and if you want to um have these dry quicker after you match pot just blow dry it hit it with the blow dryer
Now I do still need another small black heart. So we're gonna have three of the leopard print and then two red ones and then we'll have two black ones. The leopard print we got in a large, medium, and small. And then I think the red is a medium and small. And then the black are too small. But you could make as many as you want. I'm not sure if I'm using them all. You know, I create as I go, but I knew I had to do something with those hearts when I seen them at the Dollar Tree. I just like the shape of them. So I was like, well, let's make a template and make our own with what colors we want to use. And I think everybody in the world loves leopard print. my fingers. Okay, so you're just gonna put your trim all the way around. trying to get some of that glue off that you can see. It's really hard when you're using a thin trim not to see some glue, so don't worry about it if you see a little. All right, so I'm gonna bring this down so I can see where I have to cut it. And I'd say right about here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish gluing it. It's a little long, but I'll fix that after this dries. I'll clip that little piece off. And now you have your own wreath attachment. Aren't they cute? So we're gonna be doing these in a wreath. And like I said, I did um, red fabric ones, and then I just glittered over them with red um, glitter. And then we got three leopard prints and I did those in the red trim. And then I still have to make another black one, um, but and then I'll have two black. So these so far will be in a wreath with, and I still need another ball or a couple. We'll see, I gotta get red fabric though. Um, so let's set these aside while they dry. So we're gonna have the hearts the matching ornaments and now we're gonna do a junk bow <laughs> i'm calling it a junk bow because i'm putting everything in it all right so with the fabric that i used from um for the hearts what you know i i had some left over and I, I didn't measure, guys. I just cut random strips. They could be two inches. They could be an inch. Um, so I just cut, I just uh, laid the fabric down, and then I put a little slit it, and then ripped them. But then you want to come in and try to clean up some of these long little um, fibers and hairs that are sticking out everywhere. And you can trim them with your scissors if it's too much and they won't pull off. But this is what Blue had his, in his mouth yesterday, last night, a big long one. So 
So some of them you have to trim. Usually you can just pull them. But I did this uh, last night. I pulled most of them, but as I can see, there's still a lot, but it's fine. We're just gonna move on. <laughs> so I'm gonna be using this in my belt. And I, I just cut pieces. I didn't count them. Um, whatever. I had just a little bit of black left. Um, I bought this yesterday, this fabric from Joann's. Uh, this red I had, and that was the last of it. So, we're going to use this in the bow. I'm going to have this in the bow. We're going to have this in the bow. We're going to have... Um, we're going to have ribbon in the bow. So I'm using um, this D. Stevens sequins uh, ribbon that I absolutely love. I'm using D. Stevens, and I bought these at Christmas time, guys, uh, but I've never used this one, and I'm going to throw it in there. Uh, those are D. Stevens. Uh, most of this ribbon is D. Stevens. We got the D. Stevens leopard print with the red trim. That's what made me want to do this whole thing because I love that ribbon. Um, now, I don't know if these ribbons are still available, but you could just use different colors or a, a regular plain leopard print, not a D. Stevens one, um, with red, regular red. Um, you can find a pattern or solid, but I have the D. Stevens, so I'm going to use them. And, and then just a regular red. Okay, so this is what we're going to use in this bow. So I'm going to start by putting in, and actually, let me move my glue gun. I'm going to start by just putting in some of the fabric first. And I'm, I, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out. I'm hoping it's turning out the way I'm imagining it, but I don't know. <laughs> and I'm going to take one of my floral stem wires. I'm going to just put that in there. Actually, I put it in the wrong way. So I'm just gonna start laying these in here. Now they're not very long. I, I would prefer them to be longer, but my fabric was only that long. Um, so they're 24 inches. Some of them might be shorter. So I'm just gonna push those down. And I did not starch these guys. Um, I've gone through the process of doing the rag bows and starching them. And to me, um, that, that doesn't stay in there. It ends up getting soft anyways. So I'm not gonna go through that whole process of starching them, but you can. Okay, and we're just gonna start shoving fat. These ones are longer. These ones are 28. <laughs> so like I said, whatever, I just ripped them. I didn't, I, it's not that important. So I'm using black leopard print. These ones are really long. So I'll trim some of this up. It's not gonna be as long as I wanted because my fabric was not long. Unless you take some, pull these ones up. Yeah, let's do that. Cause I want, I do want it a little longer. I'm just going to leave that side short so I can have a longer end. There we go. Put some down this way so it's got the longer end. You could just cut yours longer. I'm just using fabric that I already had though. And it wasn't long enough. So I'm just gonna keep filling this up until I wanna stop. <laughs> I don't know. Let's put in, let's see, let's do just a couple more. Okay, now I'm gonna put in, actually let me do one more leopard. Okay. So I'm gonna do, and actually I think I had that as a tail. I think this ribbon for right this minute, we're gonna use more in the actual wreath, but for the bow, 
I'm only going to add this in his tails. So I'm just going to put that down. This ribbon is very thick. Like I said, I haven't used it. I bought it a while ago. So we're just going to have that in there as tails to add a little bit of bling. Whoops. And uh, if you guys want to look on Dave Stevens' sites, I'm going to read this um, to you. I'm not really going to have a, um, probably won't put in the descriptions, you guys. You just need fabric from Joann's and some wreath embellishments, um, trim. Um, if you're going to do the balls, you need styrofoam. There's a tutorial on that already. Um, and your dollar. You could get the foam core, the foam boards at um, Walmart, but you can use the same dollar ones at the Dollar Tree. So that's what I used. Uh, but if you want to see if they have this one there, um, D. Stevens, you got to go to D. Stevens, and it's a wholesaler, so you do have to sign up and register. It is DS050134. DS050134. And then I'm going to use this four inch. This one is DC Stevens. DS092289. DS092289. So I'm going to come in and use this on top. I'm going to make a tail. Now I don't want my this tail to be super long, so I'm going to make it a little shorter. I'm going to twist. I'm going to do about a seven inch loop. You can't see. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Push it down. Twist. Oh, it's so thick. Hope that's long enough. Flip this over. And do another seven inch loop on that side. Now, if I don't like how this turns out, I'll do a different bowl um, on tutorial day or on Friday when we make the wreath, but I'm going to try it. But I might hate it. So I'm just saying that now because we'll see. <laughs> see how the junk bowl looks. All right. So I got that in there. Now I'm gonna come back in and put a couple more of these on top. I'm also gonna add in some bling. I told you it's a junk bow. <laughs> we got the bling in there. Let's add some of the rope stuff that was in the balls. We'll, we'll be doing that again. Let's add some of this black sequins. Trim. Then I'm going to come back on top and do just a couple more of these things. I got shorter ones. I'm going to put shorter ones up in here too. All right, so now I'm gonna come back in with ribbon. <laughs> and I'm using the Leopard Print D. Stevens. I'm just gonna bring that down, push it in and twist. We're gonna do two loops on each side at six inches. This 
ribbon so thick. Let me pinch it first. I can't twist it in there. Oh, did I just pull that out? <laughs> it's so thick. Push that back down. Oh, I just messed it up. Hold on. Twist. It's so thick and my thing is not tight. Just pinch that down, twist, just twist, Jesus, I had to do that, that's too short. It's like I'm fighting the bow. Do four, two on each side. Just trying to get that to stop flipping. can't get them to twist right in there. You're killing me. My um, bodabra's too spread far out. <laughs> it's not holding them tight for me to twist it the way I want to. All right, let's bring that down. And we'll cut it. Then I'm going to come in too long. I feel like they're too big, but I can shorten them. I think it's so tight in there. All right. I'm not going to play with it. I'm just going to leave them. All right. Now I'm going to use <coughs> red. And actually, I think I'm only going to do two loops on this one. Sorry, guys. I don't like it with the four. So let's just do two. It's it's covering too much of the four inch. I'll save that piece because I want to use it in my wreath. I'm gonna come on top with the red. And this is a red velvet that I got from, um, I believe, Craft Outlet that I've had. Let's do these at about five inches. I'm gonna do two on each side. Just sick of doing the same bows, and I'm like, I really want to just do something different. <laughs> Let's cut that down. Then I'm going to use, um, whoops, hold on. I'm gonna put, again, another piece of bling right on top of that. Cut it. And I'm gonna do the red rope. Trim piece that we did around the hearts. And I'm gonna throw some sequins in there. Trim two. I mean, why not? I told you I was going to have a little bit of everything in it. <laughs> I hope I like it. All right. Now I'm going to come up on top with this. Um, I'm debating if I want to add any, and I think I do. I'm going to put a few more strands 
of this in there. Let's do thinner ones. Actually, let's put the leopard print on top. All right, and then I'm gonna come in, I need one more piece. Let's do the little black. Ah. Like I said, I'm just, there's no rule to this. I'm just making a ball <laughs> that's full of a lot of things. And put the red right there. Then I'm gonna come back on top with the D. Stevens one inch ribbon. Let's bring that down, twist. And we're going to do about a four inch loop, maybe a three inch, three to four inch loop. Bring that down and cut it. Look, I don't care if I don't like it. I'm using it because I got all this expensive ribbon that I already cut down. All right, so now I'm going to try to lift it up. Do I want to add a, I think I might do one more bling on top. Let's do it shorter. Cheryl, I'm going to need more bling. <laughs> My bling's almost gone. And let's do the red rope. Again. And the black sequins. Oh, that's not the sequins. And these these trim pieces you can get right at Hobby Lobby. I usually get trim at Hobby Lobby than any other store. The fabric I like to get from Joann's though. But my trim I usually like to get at Hobby Lobby. I just feel like they have more of it. But Joann's has good trim too. All right, so here comes the fun part. I gotta pick it off. <laughs> what, well? Okay, hold on. I feel like I'm still missing something. Let me look, let me make sure. Okay, that goes on top of it. All right, so we're gonna pull this up. And, oh, oh where's the middle? All right. I'm gonna pull my wire up that I put on there first. I'm gonna cross them. So I'm gonna bring one to one side and the other to the other. These are a lot thicker wire, so let me push this down so I can tighten that better. Oh, my bling is turning, but it's okay. I'm trying to get it as tight as I can with my wire so I don't lose this stack. Oh dear Lord, wish me luck. <laughs> These don't fall apart when I pick you up. I usually pull it up with the wire, but I'm nervous. Ah! Let it go, let it go. Oh my God, that stack is huge. Okay, I'm gonna bring the wires to the back. Oh my God, there's stuff in my way. What side do you go on? I gotta secure this better. Ah, uh, all my little things are in my way. Okay. Ah, uh, it's in my way. I'm gonna grab these wires and I'm gonna try to twist this as tight as I can get it. Oh, there's, there's things in the way. It's not supposed to be over there. Twister, it's just not gonna go tight enough. So I might grab a zip tie too, guys, because I don't want this to fall apart. So let me see if a zip tie will reach around this. I'm gonna zip tie it. I'm 
trying to get it as tight as I can get it. <laughs> things are going to be too short so I'll have to add a wire to them to make it longer. Oh, I can tell that's not tight. This wires. I'm going to move this wire off it. And I'm going to use a different wire. This is just too thick. It's hard to bend it for this big bow because I got the zip tie on there holding it. I'm gonna grab my 22 gauge wire. And I'm gonna cut a long piece, probably 30 inches. Pick that back up. Go right around the middle. Just want to make sure it's super tight. Okay, push it tight again. And twist it. Ah, I'm stuck. It's better if you twist the whole bolt. Make sure wire go tighter. I think that's as tight as I'm going to get it. My little tool I need to tighten that zip tie, but it's, it's in the other room. So I still feel like it needs to be tighter. I just can't get it tight enough. All right, anyways, let's look at it. I'll play with it after. Let me fluff it out. See how it looks. I gotta run and get my tool. Do I have one in here? I know what's in there. I'll be right back. in here but I've been using these to help pull staples out of the stairs all right I just want to grab that zip tie and see if I can tighten it more I think it's as tight as it'll go all right I just don't want it to fall apart <laughs> Like no, I'm gonna show you in a second. Just let me get it all fluffed out because we gotta add one more thing to it. It's heavy. the center of this the 
this is cool. I love it. Reminds me of a junk journal. <laughs> full of everything. In the center, just make sure you're pulling all your tails down. Um, so right here where we have that zip tie, I got from Hobby Lobby back in their jewelry section. They had these lips. Aren't they cute? So I figured I would glue that, or you can even pin it, because there's a pin. It's a pin. <laughs> Let's get it off. Please don't poke me. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and again, that's at Hobby Lobby. I found it in the back on the end cap. Before you go down the aisle, the end cap, um, they have all the different size and colors and um, of these little pins. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put that right there, just like that. And I'm gonna pin it because, why not? I'm gonna poke it through. Hold on, gotta get it in there. Come on, pin, go. I can't, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I can't. Hold on, let me flip this up. I kinda wish I did the four instead of just two, but I might, I might just add two loops. At, uh, I can still add those in there after. I love it. I think it's so cool. It's different and full and huge. So hold on. I'm just trying to fix this one right here. I like that one right there. All right. It's like a gypsy bell. So this will be going with our hearts and our balls. So again, I'm not doing the tutorial for the wreath today because I did the, um, the heart embellishments and the bow, which took time. So we're gonna have this as two separate tutorial, two separate days. Um, so we'll be doing this on Friday. And um, these hearts will be going with this bow. So we'll have all these hearts with the bow and the matching balls. Isn't that going to be so pretty? I'm so excited. And we made it all ourselves. Yay! Yay me! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought that would be a cool different bow. I love it. It's so pretty. Can't wait to see it in a wreath. And you could do different colors too. You don't have to do, you know, what I'm doing. You could do pinks and blacks and whatever. But yeah, it's so pretty. I love it. All right, guys, I'm all done. So we'll be putting all this together Friday. So if you want to make this, um, I might be live or Saturday. I'm sorry, Saturday. And uh, I might do it live. So we'll see. If I'm not very busy, and I'm not going to promise because I hate that, and then I don't do it, but I'm really going to try to come live because I miss you guys. So uh, go ahead and get these made so you can make it with me when I do. Um, I'll just say we're going to do it live, okay? I'll be live Saturday night in the loft. Now, instead of 7, I might come in at 6. I just don't like... I really prefer lives to be over with before 3. <laughs> but... Um, or we'll do it early. Uh, you know what? I'll post in the loft what time we'll do it on Saturday. We might come in and do it even earlier. All right, ladies. I think this is going to be so pretty. So there it is. All right, you guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see ya. And I will see you on Saturday. Oh, you know what? I probably will have that up before Saturday, though. Huh. 
I really want to get this listed because you know what? I'm not going to be live Saturday because I'm actually going to record the tutorial probably later today just because I'm almost past the stage for Valentine's. We really want to get them made and up and sold. So I might make it before then. Huh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I won't be live Saturday. I'm going to do a tutorial. But I'll be live soon doing something. All right, ladies. I love you. Have a great day. Bye.